Hey guys, what's up? Irish Emerald here, coach of your Wexford Whitelords, and welcome back to um, our final UBL team builder. Uh, even though it's week two, it's um, going to be the final one we're going to do on this channel. A uh, bit emotional doing this, guys, I'm not going to lie. going to be a bit of an emotional battle as well uh, for me. Because um, uh, it's just going to be the last one. Uh, so it's, you know, obviously with mixed feelings that I'm doing this. Obviously, I'm excited for the battle because it's going to be a fantastic battle up against Deathly. I am coach of the Tennessee Trubbish. Uh, his team, you can see about me now, uh, consists of Hydreigon, which is a Z Captain, Needle Queen, Fulcadion, Delmise, Mian Shell, Rubombi, Vaporeon, Aerodactyl, Bonzon, Rodan Frost, which is another one of his Z Captains, and Mega Kangaskhan, which does not have access to Seismic Toss. It's, you know, so pretty much very similar to Sebi's team in the, in the uh, NPR that we're going up against uh, as well. But um, definitely going to be mixed emotions, you guys, going into this battle, um, just because um, it's the last one, so it's not... Um, not the easiest uh, for me to kind of um, go through this, um, build for and all that, but look, it is what it is, and you know, hopefully we can go out with a bang here, because um, you know, UBL has been kind of like my home for the last, um, you know, for the last little while, with dra uh, con with, uh, considering what you call taking account of draft leagues, what have you. So um, definitely a bit more on the uh, emotional side here, but look, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I'll go through my team, because this is a team, but I'm going to talk you through it. Uh, I feel like my team has got a really good opportunity to uh, beat uh, Deathly here this week. Um, mainly because um, if I can break through Vaporeon and Bronzon on this team, then my Lando T will be able to sweep. So I'm very, very comfortable with, uh, with that, and that's going to be the aim of the game this week. It's to break through Bronzon, break through Vaporeon if they come. And if they don't, it's just to get the relative chip on the rest of his team and um, be able to win. And that's the idea. A couple of the things that are very scary, um, obviously he has access to webs, which we've got to be careful of, access to decent houses with Needle Queen, Needle Queen's a big issue, and um, he's got a um, Volcano as well, which is a bit of an issue for me, but we should be able to kind of semi-deal uh, semi with it. A Scarf version of a Volcano would be very annoying, but we can pretend, we can deal with it, I'm very confident we can. So anyways, my team guys, I'm starting off with my Lando T set here, we're uh, Rock Polish, Earthquake, Fly and Rock Slide. Um, I feel like once we get the relative chip on Vaporeon Bronzong, we just need to click Rock Polish from Lando T and we just decimate his team. We have Earthquake for our stab, we're rocking out with Z Fly to hit Denmise really hard, and then we're rocking out Rock Slide over, uh, over Stone Edge or Superpower because Rock Slide will give us the kill on Aerodactyl uh, if we can get a little bit more chip on it. And Aerodactyl can't really touch me regardless, so we're going to be guaranteeing a 2 AK against Aerodactyl unless we get chip on it. So the fact that we're able to just run over Deathly's team with this uh, with this uh, Nano T is absolutely fantastic. Um, Hydreigon's a bit of an issue as well. If we can get a bit of chip on Hydreigon, that'd be great. Um, but um, it, it's just a matter of trying to play around it and see what's going on with it. But um, the fact that uh, Needle Queen doesn't like it, Volcano doesn't like it, Denmise doesn't like it, Mien Shao doesn't like it, um, Rabombi doesn't like this, um, Aerodactyl doesn't like this, um, Ronan Frost won't like it, um, Mega Kangaskhan doesn't like it. The fact that we're able to hit so hard and we'll be able to hit so fast, that's the ideal thing for us. Um, we're running enough speed to outspeed, I believe it is Needle Queen, if I remember, oh no sorry, we're enough speed to outspeed Ronan Frost with the 220 and Jolly and then 252 attack and the rest goes to the HP. After that ladies and gentlemen, I just mentioned how I need to kind of break through uh, Rubombi, oh not Rubombi, uh, Bronzong and we're bringing Ivy or Slazzle to do, do just that. We have Fire Blast, Touch Wave, Dragon Pulse and Nasty Plot this week, 92 in HP because we are running 164 in speed to be uh, able to outspeed his... It's not his Rubombi, it's his Mian Shell because we'll be able to outspeed his Mian Shell with that speed. Uh, so that's the idea behind that. So uh, we're bringing out Slazzle uh, with the Nature and then 252 in Special Attack. Our move pool is absolutely insane. Our Slazzle does an awful lot of work this week. Um, uh, Fire Blast, if we're running against Bonzong, I can just click Fire Blast immediately. Uh, or I can click Nasty Plot if I'm going to force him out. Um, if he brings in Vaporeon and we click Nasty Plot and Vaporeon's got a little bit chip, our Surge Wave is going to a QO, which is absolutely fantastic. Then we got Dragon Pulse in case he brings a bulky high Dragon to potentially deal with Slazzle because Slazzle can hit everything or Needle Queen. Um, Dragon Pulse is going to be like our super effective move against high Dragon and our move to be able to just hit Needle Queen quite hard, get the good bit of chip on it. And then that's spot because uh, we will create the space to be uh, against Bronze on and a couple of other things to be able to just click Nasty Pot and absolutely decimate stuff. So that's the idea behind the Slazzle set. And I'm um, quite happy with the Slazzle. This Slazzle set is going to be able to put on enough of a pressure to be able to break through Bronze on what have you. Like I'm not relying on Slazzle to break through Bronze on because I have my Decidueye in the back. But the fact that my Slazzle can just put on such early offensive pressure is absolutely fantastic. And that's the reason why we're, we're coupling Ivy and Beast this week to be able to do just that. 
At that, I'm bringing Madonna, my Prima Marina, hold the leftovers, rocking out Moonblast, Toxic, Hydro Pump, and Energy Ball. Um, bringing a very super death variant this week. Um, this is to pretty much shut down Hydreigon and sh uh, Special Hydreigon and shut down Volcanion very, very hard. Um, we have enough EVs, to, uh, Special Death EVs, to potentially live a surge wave from the Needle Queen. Um, as well, so that's kind of very very important. Uh, so so we can kind of deal with that. Then the rest kind of goes into our. Uh, we have, sorry, we have two fifty two in HP. We have fifty two in special attack with modest, and then we have fifty two EVs in speed. The fifty two EVs in speed allows us to speed creep. Um, what was it again? Allows us to speed creep the Volcanion, if I remember correctly. No, it's not Volcanion, it is Vaporeon. And that was the speed creep of the Volcanion potentially, and then the rest goes into our special attack and modest nature, which is absolutely lovely. Uh, Moonblast and Hydro Pump is going to be our main stat moves. Toxic is going to be, for us to be able to just Toxic the Volcanion and the Vaporeon if they come, or in, come in. We can just like, you know, hit them a little bit. And then we have Energy Ball then as our move to be able to hit the Vaporeon and the v uh, Volcanion as needs be. Right, and that's our. This is going to be our main Hydra got answer throughout the whole game, and it should be absolutely fantastic. After I'm bringing mini bubbles, our duosion, um, rocking out the Evolite with the Regenerator with Psychic, Toxic, Single Beam, and Future Sight, bringing a, uh, a very heavy death investment with 12 in uh, defense. I only need two for four HP because I want the odd number, but I'm bringing 12 in defense with the with the ball nature. I'm bringing the spread to shut down Needle Queen. Because Needle Queen's coverage can do an awful lot of work, especially if it's sheer force life orb. So I'm bringing this set to shut down Needle Queen, and we will be able to shut down Needle Queen very, very easily. So I got Psychic to be able to smack the Needle Queen very hard. Single Beam, because if he, if, uh, if he just goes straight into the um, Dragon, I can just predict that, go for Single Beam, absolutely hit really hard. Um, Future Sight, because again, if we force out the. If we are forcing out. Um, Needle Queen, I can just go Future Sight and I'm guaranteed to get damage late, late game because normally if someone's going to come in and do Ocean, the Ocean is going to stay in, we're going to switch into something else and Future Sight will be able to do the work and get really good uh, chip damage on something that allows Beast to sweep late game. And then I'm bringing Toxic because again, I feel like we, uh, we're we going to be able to force a switch against Needle Queen, that's the whole idea and we'll be able to kind of Toxic and uh, Toxic something and work with that. Um, uh, the regenerator, of course, for, is, is first to switch in and out, take a hit off Needle Queen, switch out then again, uh, come back in later on, you know, and just constantly being a nuisance to Needle Queen, stop it from really doing an awful lot of good work against us. After I bring Archer, my decision wire, with Spear Shackle, Leaf Blade, Defog, and U Turn. Um, bring a uh, very kind of utility set this week, bring max HP because I need to be able to live an awful lot of hits and get my, um, what should I just be able to get a. Um, uh, defogs off and we'll have you a new turn around so I want to be able to kind of just be annoying I'm rocking Spear Shack and Leaf Blade in order to be able to just you know beat Bronze on and Vaporeon so another answer for that and then stop the hazards being set up like I talked about earlier and a new turn around um, I'm bringing 60 speed in and bring 60 EVs in speed to be uh, allow me to uh, potentially speed creep the Needle Queen then I'm bringing 92 in speed def because um, it allows me to live a Ice Beam is it, I believe it's a nice beam uh, from Vaporeon, potentially. Uh, we're not it's not built, built to deal with Needle Queen whatsoever, so we're not dealing with that. <laughs> and then I'm bringing that uh, rest and attack with uh, 104, just to be able to kind of hit things a little bit harder like the Vaporeon and such. So that's the idea behind that. So it's built to be able to kind of come in on Vaporeon and deal with it as well. Um, and we'll also be able to kind of deal with Bronze on very, very nicely. This is also a really good answer to Mega Kangaskhan. So the standard Mega Kangaskhan set, unless it's packing crunch, won't be able to kind of touch us, which is really, really nice. So we'll be able to kind of shut down that down a little bit, leaf bait you turn around, all that kind of good stuff, and that'd be very, very nice. Last one is I'm bringing Jericho, our Mega Heracross with Pin Missile, Bullet Seed, Rock Blast, and Earthquake. I'm bringing a very like bulky set this week. I'm bringing enough speed to be able to outspeed the Volcanion, because I'd be as base 70 speed, so I'm bringing enough speed to outspeed that. And then I'm bringing uh, a little like more uh, like max HP and then the rest is Spadef. Don't need the attack investment this week. Um, the move pool, uh, so we have Pin Missile as a main stab to be able to hit Hydreigon, Bullet Seed to be able to hit the Vaporeon, Rock Blast to be able to hit like the um, Aerodactyl and the Bombi and you know Pokemon like uh, Delmoise and kind of come in a little bit, to kind of uh, and to be able to do, um, hit, potentially hit Volcano as well, stuff like that. And an Earthquake is for the Needle Queen in particular. So that's the idea behind this spread. And it's just another mod to be able to kind of come in and just cause havoc against his team and be able to just get a good reliable chip for my Lando T to be able to clean up later on. 
But that's the team, you guys. That's going to be our final team that we're going to bring in the UBL. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping that we can see the ocean do an awful lot of work. That'd be awesome to see. But I'm really liking this team because we get, uh, we're get we bringing an awful lot of utility, bringing an awful lot of new, uh, uh, stuff that's going to be a nuisance. We're going to be able to get a good reliable chip on his team constantly and then just bring in Lando T at the opportune moment, click our rock polish and just sweep. And that is the, that is the plan. And hopefully that's exactly what happens. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here today. Um, I know it, it's quite a bit hard to kind of end the, these videos now that I'm leaving, but um, I'm just going to say, look, I'm going to say it in the other video uh, when I wrap up the UBL. Um, obviously, MPL is going to be re released after the UBL, but again, I want to thank you guys so much for the support over the years that I've been doing this, because um, I didn't know when the MPL is going to stop, so I don't really get to thank you guys too much when uh, in the, at the end of that video. So in this one and the, and the battle, I'm going to be thanking you guys so much um, for the support over the years. Like I said, my... Um, Goodbye video. Hopefully, um, what's it Hopefully, I can still see you guys around. Hopefully, I've you know created some joy in your lives by, uh, through my content. And um, definitely go check out Deffy's channel. His, his link to his is going in the description down below. And uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please click the like button down below for me. If you've got any comments on today's video, it would be good. Bound if you let me know in the comment section down below. And um, definitely make sure to check out the battle. It's going to be up on this channel um, on Friday. The I just created a date just in case someone looks at this in, in the future. Friday the 21st. So definitely go check it out then. But yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here today, folks. Um, I just I can't really. Uh, it's hard to do because my intro is going to be different here. But um, I'm just going to say, you know, as always, thank you guys so much for watching.